Today, we are going to be looking at carbon and the properties of carbon. On Earth, all living things contain carbon. We are considered carbon-based life forms here on planet Earth. There are two terms you need to know. One is called organic. These are organic molecules containing carbon. So for example, glucose, which is C6H12O6, that C stands for carbon. Likewise, inorganic, or means no organic molecules, do not contain carbon. So water, for example, is H2O, and it does not contain carbon. Let's look at the structure of carbon. This is a Lewis dot structure. So carbon on the inner orbital has room for only two electrons. And then on the outside, it has four electrons. However, it does have room for a total of eight. So it has the opportunity to join up with four other electrons. This is very, or four other molecules. This is very important because it has to do with its binding properties. Carbon likes to hook up with other molecules. It hates being by itself. Okay, so it's always hooking up. It doesn't like to be by itself. So for example, here's a molecule of carbon. Here is the original four electrons from up here. So these are the additional eight electrons that it hooks up with. So this is oxygen. So this is carbon dioxide. Di means two, so it's two molecules of oxygen. What's also interesting about carbon is that its structure Carbon can be found in carbon rings, such as this. It can be found in a branching patterns, and it can also be in a carbon chain where it has a backbone of carbon. So these are different structures related to carbon. Two other terms that we need to, when we're talking about uh, chemical molecules, are something called a monomer. So in this case, it is a carbon ring. You'll notice that it doesn't have a C in it. Only carbon appears in these rings. So whenever you see this, it means that there's a carbon molecule on each of these little corners here. So this is a monomer. It's a simple sugar of glucose. Whereas a polymer is made up of repeating simple sugars. So for example, carbohydrates are a very complex molecule. A way to remember this is by our learning tool. A monomer is like a train car, whereas a polymer is like the entire choo-choo train. How does carbon get into living things? The first process is through photosynthesis. Plants take in carbon dioxide. Plants are then eaten. Plants are then eaten by primary consumers. So for example, I have this little bug is eating this plant right here. That consumer that's then eaten by a bird. It travels through the food chain and that bird is now being eaten by a fox or a carnivore. So originally carbon dioxide started in the air, goes through the food chain and ends up in carnivores, including humans.